Well, we are heading out. I'm on my way to schoolie. As of right now, I have no power to anything. My electrical is not working at all. Good morning, everybody. You're going to hear some crunching because Akila is eating her breakfast. <laughs> We're getting ready and packed up today to head to Schoolie Palooza. Last week I had mentioned that I wasn't really sure if I was gonna go and I've decided that I'll go for a weekend and then when my freezer comes in, I'll head back to Phoenix and pick that up. I was able to get a lot of work done this morning, which means I have a few hours of play. I want to take a moment and thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to check out the link below to find details about how to get your own supply of Athletic Greens. By now you all know how important my morning routine is and how much I really cherish that quiet and intentional time. And it truly would not be complete without my greens. Nutrition is a big part of my life and I do make sure that I get in lots of whole foods, vegetables, fruits, good meats, but this is a great way to fill the nutritional gaps in my diet. Drinking a single scoop of Athletic Greens before making my coffee each morning is my favorite way to start the day. With just that single scoop, my body is taking in vitamins, minerals, probiotics, adaptogens, digestive enzymes, and immune-supporting mushrooms. Along with my greens every morning, I do take two drops of the vitamin D dropper to support my immune system. This vitamin D dropper is 600 servings and it does come free with your first purchase. Of course, living on the road means convenience is necessary. I love that these greens are super tasty in just water. I don't have to have anything else to mix them with. They come in this container, which is easy, simple, fits into my cupboards, and I just refill this when I need more. And then when I travel or head into the backcountry, I grab my travel packets so I can take my greens with me. Make sure to click the link in the description to get the AG1 immunity bundle that comes with a one-year supply of vitamin D and five individual travel packets for free with your purchase. So unfortunately, uh, the January hunt is no longer happening. So if you're newer around here, I had been planning on doing a mule deer hunt down here in Arizona in January. Basically a few things just didn't work out and a lot of it revolved around Aquila. If I'm ever gonna leave Aquila, I need to make sure that she's with somebody that understands her behaviors and somebody that I, I just really trust. Otherwise, I also don't enjoy my time away from her and she gets really stressed at more traditional like boarding facilities, so I don't do it. Great job. Nice, damn, good shot. The main thing is keep your hands under Wes the took out yeah. his, uh, his crossbow, so we've been playing with that. First time I've ever shot a crossbow. A few more friends joining us. It's not gonna be center bowl, it's gonna be the line right underneath the center bowl eye. Right? Okay. It's 150 pounds, so you ain't gonna check. Nice. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna shove it all the way back until it hits the string. Okay. And whenever you're ready, pretty big target. Just breathe. Woo! Right at the bottom. Nice job. Wow. Yep. <laughs> well, we are heading out. I'm on my way to schoolie. Um, I'm following a few of my friends here. I've got my buddy's dog, <laughs> Kobuck, with me. And he's got a Kila. We think both of them will be a little bit more comfortable <laughs> in each other's rigs for a few different reasons. So, finally on my way. Well, we just rolled in here. We've got our little crew here set up. I'm gonna take some time to figure out my electrical. Last night, it was late and I had a light on for Aquila, and um, 
yeah, everything just shut off. And I'm not sure what's going on. So I'm going to investigate because as of right now, I have no power to anything. My electrical is not working at all. Yo, um, okay, question for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my system got messed up somehow. My charge controller right now. Also, I'm filming this, so I'm gonna give you a shout out in this YouTube video. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I have a headlamp and that's about it. I also have two Lucy lights. Headlamp is working for right now. Um, I called my buddy Nick. We talked through it and looked at stuff online and we are pretty sure that I just absolutely sucked my batteries dry. <laughs> Whoops. What I'm gonna do is two things. I'm gonna wait for it to be really sunny and just let them charge and not turn anything on until my batteries get like a good solid day or two of charge. Then I'm going to reprogram my charge controller because I don't think I reprogrammed it when I added my two lithium ion batteries. So that could also maybe be affecting something. Tonight I don't have power, but it doesn't matter. It's not cold here. We'll see if tomorrow gets sunnier. Oh, but check this out. This is super cool. When I was searching for stuff today, I found my really old Kindle. I love this thing. So, that's good. Good way to end the day. I've been pretty social lately, so I think it's time for me to hang around in the van, and um, I'm gonna do a little bit more troubleshooting on this electrical. So, I'm gonna grab my tools right now, actually, and then head back there. I let it charge for two days, and nothing has changed. So I think right now, the issue is my charge controller. I'm gonna disconnect my system and then reprogram my charge controller and reconnect it without any of the load. So it'll just be solar panels, charge controller into my batteries and see if that makes any difference. In my head, like in theory, I feel like that should work. But who knows? Tools, check, and then get, get back there and see what's up. Just took out all of my fuses, just to be sure. I know that this isn't necessarily fun or interesting maybe for a lot of you, but this is just 
um, truthfully what I'm doing right now with my time. Because I'd really like to have power. You know? Okay. I feel like I was just back here a week ago. All right, Akila. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. All right, I will look into that and try to get these charged up. So my friend has like a external, like a booster battery thing. So I'm gonna plug that into my Jackery while my Jackery is charging with its solar panels. Connect that to my positive and negative terminal and slowly trickle charge like two to six amps. And we'll see what happens. This isn't really an ideal battery booster thingy, but I think it should work fine. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm just back here monitoring everything. Ooh, just hit 2%. So the guy on the phone said that maybe around 11 or 12% um, would allow my charge controller to work enough to, to you know, bring in power for the batteries. Electrical stuff always freaks me out a little bit, but also intrigues me, so I feel pretty grateful to be learning what I'm learning now. Always learning on the road. This shit never ends. It's showing me 25%, so I'm going to disconnect this and reconnect my solar panels to my charge controller and see what that reads. Dang it, it's still flashing. I'm trying to get on the phone with Renegy one more time, but good news, I reconnected my system. My Victron battery monitor is on, connecting to my phone, it says that the system and the batteries are fine. So now it's just figuring out this charge controller. Hi, um, I have a quick question about my charge controller. Can you, can you hear me okay? Um, I recently I recently installed two lithium ion batteries. Is there a way to reprogram that charge controller? I have the Rover, 20 amp. Yes. The new settings to yep. reprogram for my lithium ion batteries didn't work. So they said um, probably needs a hard reset. Disconnected solar panels, disconnected my battery connections as well. It's been sitting for, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes. I'm gonna reconnect it and see if that did the trick. Oh my God, it's working. F yes. That should be good. <sighs> Last connection, please work. <gasps> oh, it's fixed. It's fixed. Well, what probably should have been a half hour project was at least a three hour project, troubleshooting, but got it all figured out. Electrical system is solid, it is good, it is up and running. I'm gonna let this charge for a while in full sun and then come back on in here and put my fuses back in and start everything back up and I will have light again. And this is perfect. I was so worried that I wasn't gonna get this figured out before my freezer, but my freezer should be here in, well, in a week keeps taking longer than it than it was expected but Friday I'm getting it in Whew. wow feels amazing I've been editing for a little while and there's a band that started playing on the roof deck of a school bus nearby and they're really good that was Akila squeaking back there
wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just 